Hey people of the internet, this is Julie Doe. Fun fun, mini golf touch isn't the first golfing game to hit the 3DS eShop. In fact, it's the second original one, in addition to some DSiWare ones that are probably out there. And the title certainly is very enthusiastic, including three exclamation marks and one word that's completely in capital letters, even though you can't see it there. But is this game worth all the attention that the title's giving it? Let's find out. Okay, why does that sound like an angry mob? Uh, so now that that terrible sound is gone, I'm going to be talking about the basic gameplay and premise of this game. There's really not much I can say. I mean, it's just mini golf after all. But basically, you have to hit a ball into a hole, and you have to be within a certain boundary for the ball to count. It's not like a regular mini ball where you can just hit the ball wherever. It has to be within a certain area around the hole, if that makes any sense. And that can get a little bit frustrating, but overall, the gameplay is just what you would expect from a golf game. So, you know, it's golf, so nothing too bad, nothing too special or anything, and so, yeah, that's the premise. The premise is it's mini golf, and the gameplay is you're hitting balls, so the gameplay isn't groundbreaking or anything, it's just mini golf, but it's not bad or anything. I felt it to be, you know, alright, even better than Let's Golf 3D, so for gameplay, I'm going to give this game a B-. minus. Graphically, this game isn't too impressive, I mean... It's alright for a golfing game, but it's nothing too special. As you can see, the environments are kind of detailed, and the 3D, I actually thought, helps kind of, you know, judge distance and everything. But the graphics aren't anything too special, and for that reason, I'm going to give this game's graphics a B-, just because they're not groundbreaking, but they're not bad either. And hopefully, you get a chance to see the graphics right here. So now I'll be talking about the sound and presentation of this game, which in future reviews I'm going to bundle together. So here you basically see all your different options. You have your three different cups, I have not unlocked all three yet, your trick shot, and your shop. And then you just choose whichever one you want, and then you simply select um, which cup you want, and the presentation is really simple. And then on the bottom screen you can see kind of how um, the meters and everything work. So that just kind of adds to the presentation. And if you listen to the music, it sounds pretty uninspired. But as you progress in the game, you can unlock some retro sound effects when you're hitting the ball, which I'll let you hear now. However, this hardly compensates for the fact that the music is just so bland. And so, for sound and presentation, I'm going to give this game uh, B minus because the menus are good and everything, but the sound is just overall mediocre. Now that you've seen me thoroughly suck at the previous hole, I'm gonna talk about the controls. So you can use the touch screen if you want. I'm not really sure how. Um, let's see if I can figure it out. Um, okay, so you go like that to control which way you want the ball, and oh, this is confusing. Yeah, and then you just tap on the golf ball. Okay, you know what? I don't really think the touch um, screen controls are really worth it. I had a hard time using them earlier. Um, and really, this is a golf game. It's kind of about precision. And so you're going to want to use the A button. And the game works pretty much how any golf game's controls would work. Um, you line up a shot, and then you um, control the spin and the power. And you just press A to do all this. So... I mean, it's pretty standard for golfing games, it, but the controls are just as sensitive as you'd want them to be. I mean, you just press A, and so it's not bad for a golfing game, so for controls, I'm going to give it a B. So now I'll talk about the fun and value of this game, which I've also lumped into one convenient little category. This game is fun, easy pick-up-and-play uh, golfing gameplay, and it's only $5, so it has some pretty good value because it gives you... 81 holes and then nine trick shots as well and Really this is kind of the first pick up and play game that we've seen on 3ds where and stuff like that is Kind of stuff that really should be on 3ds where because a lot of the titles on it are just full-out adventure titles Such as still enjoying western mutant muds and vvvvvv. I mean it's great that there's titles like this on the eShop, but 
for something portable that you download. I think people kind of expect they can play games like these, and the price is just pretty good. So, and this game is also pretty fun to play, although some of the golf courses can feel a little bit uninspired. And so, for fun and value, I'm going to give this game a B+. Okay, so, now I'll be talking about the difficulty and the age range of this game. This game isn't terribly difficult, it's pretty much what you expect from a mini golf game like this. Um, and so, for that reason, I'm going to give it a pretty low difficulty, let's say, uh, 3 on a scale, no, not even a 3 on a scale of 10, a 2 on a scale of 10. And I'd say the recommended age range for this game would be ages 5 and up, because it's not a difficult game at all. And I think really younger people are going to like this game more than, you know, older people who like games a lot more. And so for the overall difficulty in recommended age, this game gets a recommended age of ages 5 and up. Alright, so this is a game that's pretty much meant to become obscure, and that's a shame because although its gameplay is uninspired and as is its sound, it's still good mini golf fun. There's nothing wrong with it by any means. And so overall, this game gets a C plus for being somewhat uninspired, and yet it's still really fun to play. And a pick up and play game like this is great for the eShop to play on the go. And so. I think this game deserves its overall score of a C plus. Although it scored a high, some rel relatively high in every cal category, I think that's pretty much what this game deserves, and that's what I'm giving it. So thanks, people, internet. I hope you like this review, and let me know what you think about my new style of reviewing. I've changed the categories up a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. People, internet. I'll see you guys later.